everybody and welcome to Fun with Fractions. Today we're going to continue talking about thirds. Are you ready? Well, let's go! I've prepared a plate of donuts to share with my friends. I didn't have enough donuts so that everybody could have one, so I've cut them into thirds. But what if I did have enough donuts? How many thirds would each one get? That's right, each one would get three thirds because three thirds would make one whole donut. I've shared all of the donuts with my friends. Even Mr. Dragon has one. Now, I have a question for you. How many donuts do you think I cut to give all of my friends one third? That's a very good question. There are 14 of my friends here and each of them got one third of a donut. How many donuts do you think I used? That's a good idea. To find out, why don't we put the donuts back together? One third, two thirds, one whole donut. One and a third. One and two thirds. Two whole donuts. Two and a third. Two and two thirds. Three whole donuts. Three and a third. Three and two thirds. Four whole donuts. Four and a third. Four and Two thirds. So, to give all of my friends donuts, I needed almost five donuts. There's just one piece left for me. Mm -hmm. That was so much fun! Let's keep going! I'm using my homemade meter stick again. I've used it to measure and cut 60 centimeters of string. Now, I can figure out how much half of 60 centimeters is by folding this string in half and measuring it. Here we go. I folded the string in half and now if I measure it, I can see that half of 60 centimetres is 30 centimetres. But I already knew that half of 60 was 30, so did I really need to measure? You're absolutely right. If I can work it out in my head, I don't really need to measure, do I? So, how can I work out a quarter of 60 centimetres without measuring? Ah, oh, those were some really good ideas you had. You're absolutely right. If I know that half of 60 centimetres is 
30 centimetres. To figure out a quarter of 60, I just need to half again. A quarter of 60 centimetres is 15 centimetres. Great job! Now, I want to know how much one third of 60 centimetres would be. I need to fold the string into three equal pieces. Those aren't equal pieces. That's only two equal pieces. Oh, it's really hard to fold a string into three equal pieces. Thank goodness I can work this out in my head instead of having to fold and measure it. How much is one third of 60? You're so clever. One third of 60 is 20. How did you figure it out? Ooh, you're right. There's lots of different ways to figure it out. One way is to just take off the zeros. If I know that a third of six is two, then I know that a third of 60 is 20. Great thinking. Yes, that's right as well. If I know that three tens are 30, it makes sense that three twenties have to be 60. Yes, that's right as well. I can think about my family of three. I know that three times 10 equals 30. So it makes sense that three times 20 equals 60. Oh my goodness, how clever you guys are. You're doing great. Let's celebrate. Here we have a picture of a snake from your snake fractions tool on your Collins account. It's showing a snake that has been divided into thirds. Now, what if each part of the snake was one centimeter long? How long would the whole snake be? How could we figure that out? That's right. The snake would be three centimeters long. And you can find that out by multiplying by three. One centimeter times three equals three centimeters. All right. What if each part of the snake was two centimeters long? How long would the snake be then? Excellent. The snake would be six centimeters long. Two times three equals six. All right, I have a really difficult one for you. What if the whole snake was nine centimeters long? How long would each part be? What would you need to do to find out? Oh, how amazingly brilliant you are. To find out how long the whole snake would be, you multiply. So, to find out how long each 
part would be you divide. Nine centimeters divided by three equals three centimeters. Ah, oh, you are just amazing. It's time for an activity. You need your whiteboard and your whiteboard marker. Ready? Let's go! Now take a look at this snake. It's been divided into six equal parts. Now, my first question is, if each part of that snake is two centimeters long, how long is the whole snake? So, let's work this out. The snake has been divided into six equal parts. So you should have started with a six on your whiteboard. Each part is two centimeters long. So, to work out how long the whole snake is, do I need to multiply or divide by two? You're absolutely right. I need to multiply by two. Six twos are 12. So six times two centimeters gives us 12 centimeters total. Good thinking. Now, here's your next problem. If I know that the whole snake is 12 centimeters long, how long is one third of the snake? Okay, what sum are we going to write to work this out? Well, we know that the snake is 12 centimeters long. How do we work out a third of 12? Very good. You're remembering things very well. We divide, we divide by three. So, 12 centimeters divided by three gives us how many centimeters? That's right, count in threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve divided by three is four. So one third of the snake would be four centimeters. Did you work that out? Well done. Let's take a look at that snake again. What if this time each part of that snake was five centimeters? How long would the whole snake be then? What sum are we going to write to work this out? Well, what's our first number going to be? You're absolutely right. The snake has six equal parts. So, what comes next? Very good, very good. Each part is five centimeters long. I just can't believe how clever you are. We are multiplying six times five. So if we remember our five times table, six fives are? Quick, you are 30. Very good. So, the whole snake is 30 centimeters long. How fabulous! So, your next problem. If we know 
that the whole snake is 30 centimetres long. How long would one third of that snake be? Do you know what sum you need to write? Let's work it out together. Let's start with how long the whole snake is. We know the whole snake is 30 centimetres long. Because we just worked that out. What do we need to do to figure out one third? You guys are remembering everything now. Really, really good. To figure out one third of 30, we need to divide by three. 30 divided by three. Ugh. Excellent. We count in threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30 gives us 10. So, one third of this snake is 10 centimeters. Fantastic! Now, here's your last challenge. Look at this snake one more time. This time, imagine that each part is 10 centimeters long. You need to work out first how long the whole snake will be and then how long one third of the snake will be. Write both sums on your whiteboard. Have you worked them out yet? Do you need more time? Pause the video. Work out both problems and then press play again when you're ready. Okay, you should have both sums on your whiteboard. Let's check them. First problem was to work out how long the whole snake was. What are we starting with? Well, we know that the snake is divided into six equal parts. We also know that each part is 10 centimeters long. So, six tens are 60. Did you get that right? I knew you would. Now, your second problem. How long would one third of this snake be? Well, we know that the whole snake is 60 centimetres long. We also know to work out a third, we divide by three. So, 60 centimetres divided by three is... Excellent! 60 centimetres divided by three equals 20 centimetres. So one third of that snake would be 20 centimetres long. Amazing! I hope you've enjoyed our math party today. I know I have. Don't forget to do page 48 in your workbook and then post your work to Class Dojo in your portfolio.